lift your two hands above your heads. This service is for somebody. I said this service is for somebody. If it is you, let your amen be louder and louder. Lift your hands. There are five things that God is about to do in somebody's life. Number one, the Lord spoke to me at the place of prayer. I say he shall restore the wasted years. Lift your hands. I don't know the one God is speaking to. All the years that the enemy had wasted, the Lord said, this is the season of supernatural restoration. Those wasted years shall be restored. It shall be restored. It shall be restored. God shall fast forward your life. He shall fast forward your life. Whatever you have lost in the name that is above every other name, I prophesy receive supernatural restoration. Receive supernatural restoration. Receive supernatural restoration. If I hear your amen louder, you are the one that God is talking to right now. Number two, the Lord said there shall be divine remembrance. As Mordecai was remembered, even though he was forgotten by the king, but God remembered him. And when God remembered Mordecai, the book of remembrance got open. I stand by grace and I prophesy. There is somebody hearing the sound of my voice. The book of remembrance for your life and your destiny is opening in this season. I speak to somebody hearing the sound of my voice. Your book of remembrance has been closed. I command it to open in the name of Jesus. It shall be read to be hearing of your helper. And your helper shall come in a hurry. Your helper shall remember you in a hurry. I prophesy somebody shall be decorated. This is a season of celebration. If I hear your amen, Lord, receive in the name of Jesus. Number three, the Lord said, He shall turn weeping into laughter. And Sarah said, The Lord has made my day. He has made me to laugh. Even in the midst of weeping, somebody is not hearing what God is saying. I stretch forth my hand and I prophesy. Anyone the enemy has planned, plotted, assigned spirit of weeping. In this service, I prophesy over your life. Weeping shall be turned into laughter. Weeping shall be turned into laughter. Weeping shall be turned into laughter. Your season of weeping is over. Bible says that weeping may endure all the night. The joy suddenly comes in the morning. I prophesy to somebody. This is your season of joy. This is your season of joy. This is your season of joy. I hear your amen Lord. I receive it right now. I said receive it by fire receive it by fire receive it by fire in the name of jesus number four lift your hands above your head the bible says you shall be the head and not the tail i prophesy to somebody you shall never be the tail you shall be the head you shall rise from where you are to the top i hear your head louder begin to rise I command you to rise. No limitation, no stagnation. Your heaven settles your case. If your heaven is louder, receive supernatural flight. I said, receive supernatural flight. You shall leave that level to the level where God wants you to be. Can I hear a better heaven like thunder? Number five, there shall be supernatural empowerment. What you could not do by yourself. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, This man was plagued by the spirit of delay and limitation. He kept on walking, but there was nothing to show. Until grace comes. I stand by grace and I prophesy. Grace shall enter into your race. You will no longer run by your strength. Ah, you shall enter into the chariot of, of God. That 
there is a release of supernatural chariot, your speed shall be unpredictable. No devil can stop you anymore. It says, Zerubbabel, the mountain shall become a plain. Who am I prophesying to? Whatever that looks like a stubborn issue, in this service, it shall disappear by fire. Whatever that has conquered your effort, whatever that has conquered your energy, whatever that has conquered your strength, I prophesy, receive supernatural strength, receive supernatural energy. From today, you shall run by supernatural strength. Can I hear amen like thunder in this place? He said, that which thy hand had laid upon, you shall complete. Can I see your hand lifted above your head? From today, you shall never be a failure. You shall be a finisher. You shall be alive and you shall complete that project. You shall be alive. You shall complete that project. Whatever your hand has led upon, you shall complete. 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 The Bible says that good work with the Lord had begun. He shall perfect. I stretch forth my hand and I prophesy to somebody hearing the sound of my voice. God shall perfect all that concerns you. If you are in a carries anointing, receive it right now. There shall be perfection of all that concerns you. Perfection in your marriage, perfection in your health, perfection in your business, perfection in your career, perfection in your ministry, perfection in the anointing, perfection in your knowledge, perfection in your academics. Can I hear a better, better aim like thunder?